Well, hi, everybody, and hope that the continuing celebration of the season of Christmas is going well for you and your household. Also, we hope that the transition into a new calendar year has been a positive one for you. And as we look step forward into a new calendar year, we hope that you've been able to take advantage and take an initial review of an insert that has appeared in our bulletin and remains archived on our parish website. We flock noted it out, Facebooked it. Uh, it gives a wonderful overview of our pastoral offerings, our menu of spiritual and pastoral offerings for the second half of our pastoral season here at St. Anne, January through June of 2023. Our team has put together a really terrific uh, list of offerings that we hope you will make note of, pen them into your calendars now so that you can coordinate the rest of your busy lives and still participate in these great opportunities for spiritual growth and development and cultivating the bonds that knit us together as a community of believers here at St. Anne Church. Among the things that are coming up first uh, as we move forward into the new year, we're encouraging everyone to make some time to uh, this coming Sunday, the Feast of the Epiphany, to show up and uh, learn a little bit more about the upcoming March for Life that will take place on Friday, January 20. There'll be a local option here in Hagerstown, and there'll be an option for participating in the national observance in Washington, D.C. Representatives from our Respect Life Committee will be present at Coffee and Conversation after 9 o'clock Mass this Sunday to answer any questions you might have and to offer you all the encouragement they can to be a participant in this year's March for Life. Also at Coffee and Conversation this Sunday, we'll be happy to have a representative from the Gabriel Network, uh, a new initiative that we're undertaking in partnership to provide support, practical uh, and spiritual support for women who are anticipating the birth of a child. So the month of January is a particularly focused time in the church where we are called to recognize and appreciate and support the incredible gift of human life from conception through natural death. And we hope that you might be a part of that witness and that service uh, right now in some very simple and practical ways. Also, as we look forward to January, on Saturday, January 21, we will be able to resume one of our most popular and fun offerings, our chili cook-off. Like many things, we have not been able to do the chili cook-off for a couple of years because of COVID, but we're able and ready to do it again. So dust off your favorite chili recipe and make plans to bring it here to uh, church uh, at the five o'clock mass. And then right after five o'clock mass will be our great chili cook-off. We do need you to contact our parish office to let us know that you'll be coming, what you're gonna bring, and how many folks will be joining with you. Uh, for the last couple of years that we've done the chili cook-off, it's been one of our most popular and well-attended events. What better thing to do in the cold dark of winter than to gather with a lot of fun people and some delicious heartwarming chili recipes and have a friendly competition to identify which one is the winner for this year. So please do make plans to be a part of our chili cook-off Saturday, January 21. It's coming up in just a couple of weeks. So there's a whole lot more that is also coming up. And as we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany, uh, derived from a Greek word that means to reveal or to show or to manifest, we hope that this feast will be a renewed reminder for us all to do what God has done. God has shown up in the human story, becoming flesh in the birth of Jesus. And God asks us to show up with and for each other as faith-filled disciples of Jesus in witness and service to our world. We look forward to you showing up often with us here at St. Anne Church. So take care and God bless you.